inside core. The central dark matter reactor will reach a supercritical state in T minus. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, What's up everyone? This is me, Sean, and today I am back with some more Subnautica for your faces. So yeah, uh, today we're starting off right after the Aurora blew up. So now we have actually a lot more to do in the game. So yeah, some of the, uh, some of the stuff doesn't show up until after it blows up, so I just, I wanted to, uh, begin the second video by uh, letting the Aurora blow up. Today, what my objective is going to be is, uh, well, my objective is going to be getting some fragments and scanning some fragments and stuff like that. So, yeah, I did find one somewhere over here. Let's see if I, let's pull out the, uh, the flashlight. Alright, so, where is the fragment? It's somewhere, it should be, like, right here. It's not, it's not right here. Why is it not right here? Oh, it is right here. Okay, sweet. So this is the Sea Glide fragment that I found in the last video, which is going to be very nice, very nice. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead, I'm just going to search around and see if I can find myself another Sea Glide fragment, and that is a place that I do not want to go. That would be a bad place to go. Ooh, that's scary. Alright, I'm going this way. <laughs> I'm going this way. That's a scary place to go down there. I just, I just don't want to, I don't want to go. Okay. Ooh, we got something over here. Let's go check this part of the ship out. We have some cargo stuff. Very nice, very nice. Oh, oh! Oh! Sea Glide Fragment! Yeah! Alright, now I can make it. Very, very nice. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna head back to Wilson. Emergency. And I'm going to make whatever I need in Wilson. Wait, what? Oh! Do they fight? Is this guy dying? I think he's dead. Is he? He's dead. Whoa, wait. Wait, hold on. Did, did the gasopod kill this guy? I think the gasopod just killed him. The stalker. Alright, let's scan the stalker. Stalker! Alien life form! Alright, so Wilson has obviously shifted a little bit since the last time I was on. He used to be like right over there. Now he's like way back here. I, I don't know why he's shifting so much. Alright. So let's go ahead and let's see where I can make the sea glide at. Okay, can make it in here. So we need a battery, lubricant, copper wire, and titanium, which I have every single one of those. Well, I don't have... Well, I have everything I need to make that stuff, but I don't have the battery itself or the copper wire itself. I have all the components to make it, though. So let's go ahead and let's do that. Titanium, battery, copper wire as well. So lubricant... And now we got the Sea Glide! Very, very nice. Let's see what this message is. Altera Crew, this is the Aurora Life Pod 6. We've touched within one kilometer of the crash site, but our path to rendezvous is irradiated. We've only got one rad suit requesting immediate assistance. Ooh. What? is this so many life pods there's one out there there's one down there that one's further than that one they're both sunk huh? or they have both sunk I don't know man I don't know anymore okay is this a sandstone yeah it's sandstone outcrop I just got silver very nice very nice all right let's check right here oh we got salt deposits for days salt deposits everywhere yes Oh, fudge cakes. Totally forgot about you guys. Alright, thank you, Siri. Alright, totally forgot about that guy. He's scary. <laughs> He's scary. I have 16% battery left in this thing. But luckily, it only takes batteries to refill the uh, power in it. So, uh, can you not do that every time I go up <laughs> above the water? Oh, I just hate that. Alright, get a couple of those. And I'm going to restore the power in this guy here. There we go. Copper. 
So, gotta get up in Wilson. Emergency. Ten seconds. Of also, remaining. yeah, whatever. All right, so. I think today, what I'm going to do with the rest of the video is I'm going to probably build a small base somewhere, so, uh, yeah, let's go ahead, let's first make a battery, because I'm going to need that battery to recharge my Sea Glide, which will be very nice, okay, and, yeah, so, I need to check out what it takes to build a Habitat Builder, you need a computer chip and a battery, which I have. Alright, whatever. I'm going to make a computer chip. So, let's see what the computer chip needs. It needs two table coral samples. Did I not get table coral? I swear I did. Guess not. Okay, so, let's put some of this stuff away. Okay, I got common coral, not table coral. Okay, I see, I see. Oh man, we're, we're going to get into this, uh, to this habitat building today. It's going to be very fun. Alright. Computer chip, and that should be the last thing I need for the Habitat Builder. There we go. Now we got the Habitat Builder. And we can do amazing things with this Habitat Builder. Is it nighttime already? Oh, no! Oh, that's creepy. Captain, a, new message has arrived. a new message? How many messages? All right. message. This is an automated distress signal from the Aurora Life Pod 7 coordinates attached. Please send immediate... Emergency relief team. One, two. I don't see seven, so I see seventeen and I see seven, but not or I see six and seventeen, but I do not see seven. Did I read that right? Yes. So I don't know if Life Pod Six is still gonna be afloat. Probably not. I don't know if any of them are still afloat. They're probably not. None of them are probably afloat still, so. I don't know. Signal Equip it. Oh gosh. Life pod seven. I have life pod seventeen, life pod six, and life pod seven. How close is life pod seven? Really far. Yeah, that that's really far away. Yeah, that's super far away, man. I don't know if I'm ever gonna get to there. Um well, I probably will at one point, but not not in the beginning stages of this game. I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to wait for day to come once again. So, yeah, I will see you guys then. Alright, guys, so it is a new day, and, uh, yeah. So, for the remainder of this video, I am going to be trying to get to some of these life pods. And I'm going to start with life pod 7, which seems to be the closest. And I don't know if I'm going to do six this time, but yeah, let's go ahead. Let's just dive in. Oh, boy. So the sun did just rise in or on this water planet. So, oh, boy. I'm going to go this way until I can clearly see that it's below me. Oh, guys. The things, the things I do. The things I do here. Okay. Oh boy, it's it's so dark. Okay. I can't see the bottom. Oh, radiation. Great. Looks like either way I can't go. Oh well. Better luck next time, right? So it looks like I have to... Well, I'm gonna stay above the water here because I'm a... I'm a little baby, and I don't want to be stuck out here with the eclipse that's probably happening right now, and it's very scary. So, yeah, I think I'm back. I'm back in the, the good part of town. Okay, so it looks like I have to make a radiation suit. Lovely. So, I have to figure out what I need in order to make said radiation suit. So let's go ahead, let's see what's in here, and uh, hopefully let's see what I must get to make the radiation suit so I need a uh, fiber mesh which you can make how how do you make this you make it with creep vine samples maybe that's the only thing I can think of so let's try to get some uh, some creep vine samples and test out this theory maybe can you just not please 
All right, there we go. Get some creep vine samples. Oh, well, it's gone. Great. I am destroying nature today. That is what I'm doing. All right, let's destroy nature. Okay, I guess I can't destroy any more nature. I have destroyed all the nature that I can destroy. Let's climb back in. And let's see if I can now make fiber mesh. Yes, I can make fiber mesh, which takes two creep vine samples. And after I get the two creep vine, or the, I guess not the two creep vine samples, but the, uh, whatever, the two fiber mesh, I should be able to make everything I need to make. So let's go back and let's destroy more nature. You suck, you know that? Emergency. Ten seconds of oxygen remaining. Okay, so, okay, okay, so what can I now make? I can make a rebreather, which is going to be very nice, and I can make a dive reel, which might be useful in the future, I don't know, but for right now, I'm just going to use this fiber to make certain suits lined with lead. So now I have no excuse. Great. So great. Why did I do that? I don't know why I did that. Well, <laughs> I'm going to go get mentally prepared for this, and I'll be back in a second, guys. Hold on. All right, guys. Sun's just rising. I don't know what I'm doing. Probably dark everywhere I look. Oh, man. So, I'm just going to casually meander this way. I don't even, I don't know guys, I am so, honestly, I'm really, really terrified right now. Oh boy. The thing is, once I get over to, yeah, here, just look how deep, look how deep it actually is. Just look at it, alright. I can't see the bottom. Oh, this is actually horrific right now. It's so dark. Why is it so dark? Like in my last playthrough, it didn't really get dark. This? At this depth, it got darker at like other depths, but this depth wasn't usually as dark. Okay. Stop lagging. I'm going to hope I can... Okay. I'm going to hope I can make it over to there at that depth. Oh boy pray oh gosh all right come on man you don't get the views oh boy it's a hundred and thirty five meters straight down it's right there gotta get in and out as fast as humanly possible okay let's go I'm in what do I do what, is there anything here? A uh, compass! Ooh! And... This guy! Downloadable data! Okay, sweet. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to head back over towards Wilson. So... I'm going to read it... Once I get back to Wilson. So, yeah, I am going to switch the battery... Not right now, actually. Keep the battery in. I'm gonna get to the surface. Oh my god. Oh, that is a big ball of nope. Mm -mm, mm -mm. That is nope. That is nope. Okay, switch, switch the batteries out. No, switch that. Switch it. Switch it. All right. I guess I'm just swimming back to Wilson normal speed, right? Because that's a good idea. As if being just an open ocean with scary uh, monsters isn't enough. I have to swim back with the power of my own arms, and that's it. Great. Alright, Wilson, at least your embrace will be probably the best thing I've felt in a long time now. Well, goodbye, Scary Life Pod 7 thing. Okay. 
I'm going to see what um what the life put well it had uh it had some like data regarding the person in it. So or the person that was in it. Uh, sadly the person is no longer there. He's probably dead. Um so yeah, I'm going to see what the heck is going on with this. So let's see what he has. We have a compass, let's equip that. Oh can I I can't equip it. Why can I not equip it? Okay. Might not be fully implemented. So I have a log. Alright, day eight. Short range scans suggest that this grassy biome supports extensive biodiversity both above and below the surface. Above the surface. Okay. I don't I don't know, man. Is that it? Is that literally all I got? Uh data bank, okay. Alien life forms and data downloads, okay. Life pods. Emergency recording T plus twenty three minutes. Okay. Situational analysis complete. Communications relay offline. Altera crew one. Dang it. How are we going to find others without a rendezvous signal? Altera crew two. We have a bearing on where the other pods went down. There's a compass in the locker. We have options. Wait. You want to just swim to it? Are you serious? You have to eventually. Even... Or, or uh, if there's... no. If there's any rescue coming, it's months, maybe years away. We have to find others. Patch up, Aur sorry, patch up Aurora's long-range comms and and set about building a permanent habitat. Did you stop to pick up your tools while you were running for your life? No, but the fabricator's not broken. All we need is some basic materials. I'm going out there to see what I can find, and that was it. He's probably done. He's probably dead. So vehicles, uh, Sea Glide. Thank you, I already know about the Sea Glide. And I got the Stalker. I scanned a Stalker body. Alright. So, there we go. That's what happened to the people in, in uh, Life Pod 7. Now, what is the time? Okay. Let's see how far out there Life Pod 6 is. It can't be that far. So, oh yeah, that's right. This thing doesn't want to change sources. Oh, great! Good job, me. Okay, so... Let's go see how far out there Life Pod 6 is. Or maybe I should... I'm, I'm gonna go grab uh, Life Pod 17, and uh, I might actually go out to Life Pod 17, because it seems pretty close as well. It, it looks like it's not as far, it's just deep. That is what's worrying me right now, is that it's just... It's, it's far... And it's deep, alright? I don't really... I can't go all that deep. Honestly, back out there where I was is probably one of the more deeper places I could go. So, yeah, let's just... Let's see how far out this way this life pod is, and then I'll assess my situation. Maybe this life pod's still afloat. It might be. It looks like it is, because it's not going down. The signal is not going down. Oh, it's like... It's like right over here. It's not that far. Look at it. It's just it's just right there. Okay. Let's grab it. It's going to be nighttime before I get back, but yeah. Hello Life Pod 6. What do you have for me? Okay. A uh, radiation suit, a uh, PDA, and that is it. Integrating new PDA data. I'm going to head back to Wilson and I'm going to see what I can get out of this uh, this message, uh, or this PDA, that was left behind by the crew of Life Pod 6 over there. And hopefully they have some good information for me, some information that will be helpful. And maybe, just maybe they survived. I don't know. They might have. I don't know if that was the one that was like, hey, something's trying to get in. Or if that was the one that was just like, yeah, we need help because radiation and whatnot. So, yeah, let's get into here. And let's go ahead, let's read what the PDA has. So, let's see. Is it a PDA? Or am I just... Personal display? I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to sound really weird just saying PDA, because that just stands for other things. But, yeah, alright, so... 
Oh, I should have never let her leave with that rad suit. By now, she's either swum to dry land or drowned trying. Meanwhile, the air filters aren't keeping up with the hull breach. Radiation levels in the pot are rising. I won't last much longer without meds. This would be the time to take an easy way out if all the options on the table weren't equally horrific. Hatch opens. Aurora passenger, help me! Altera crew, what happened? Alright, coughing. I tried to make it to rendezvous, but I started feeling sick. I barely made it back. This is important. Did the suit breach? Are you contaminated? No! I don't know what's wrong. Did you... Alright, Altera crew, did... Did you set the air levels right? Yes. Sound of scanner. Altera crew, did you remember... Did you remember to do up the zipper? What zipper? Your radiation level shouldn't be this high. Ma'am, you've been exposed to... Okay, so she... She died. Um... If you make it off this planet, please don't tell people I died because I couldn't dress myself. Okay. <laughs> wow. Scanner life signs flatlined. Your secret's safe with me. I don't expect to make it off this planet. That's sad. This is honestly, like, really intriguing. Like, the first playthrough I did did not have any of that stuff in it. Okay. Well, it looks like Life Pod 6 and Life Pod 17 are still out there. Well, Life Pod 6 is the one I just came back from. But Life Pod 17 is still out there. And I do not want to know. I don't even, I don't even care to know what's over there. Because I think that was the one that came back to me and said something's trying to get in. And I'm sitting there, I'm like, no. Nope, 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 <laughs> nope. Alright, I want to make sure that's the case here. This is Lafay Lafayette? I think that's what... It, I think that's how you pronounce it, I don't know. This is Lafayette in Life Pod 7. I survived impact, but there's something outside the hatch, and it's trying to get in. If anyone's still out there... If anyone's still out there, my coordinates are attached... This message will now repeat. Great. <laughs> Fills me with determination to get over there. I think this video has gone on long enough. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, likes, favorites, and whatnot are appreciated. Also, make sure to go ahead and put in the comment section below any base ideas you have for this. Go ahead and leave your ideas in the comment section below. And I will see you guys in the next video.